Hello you all, I am Black Witch Yaya. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And today I'm going to answer one of the most popular questions that I get every single day, multiple times a day from people who are starting their spiritual journey and don't know exactly where to start. And with my channel being very beginner friendly, I understand why I'm getting this question. So I was like, let me just do a video on it so I can address everybody at once. But before we get into today's video, the crystal of the day is the amethyst. This was the first crystal I was drawn to, my first crystal that I purchased when I was starting on my spiritual journey. And this crystal will open your third eye and will awaken one's spirituality the amethyst will clear and soothe one's mind before meditation and any spiritual work along with that the amethyst also reveals inner demons and removes any toxic habits such as drunkenness and addictive behaviors other healing benefits range from insomnia headaches and eye strain and you could purchase this raw amethyst from blackwitchyaya.com so for those of you guys who are starting out on your spiritual journey i just want to let you know that you're late yeah you're late. Meaning that you started your spiritual journey the day you were born. All the obstacles that you went through, even though you grew up in the church, you grew up singing in the church and preaching in the church, just because you are just now like, okay, I want to really tap into myself, does not technically mean you're starting your spiritual journey. You're just in a new phase in it. I feel like throughout your entire life, you will always be on a journey. So never feel like you're behind someone or you're literally too late. It's all a journey that started the day you were born. So yes, you're already on your spiritual journey. So do not feel like you are behind. You are just in a new phase learning about spirituality. So when it comes to this phase and where to start, that's kind of hard to say because I feel, I know I break the norms of a lot of people. I feel like when it comes to spirituality, there is no rule book and there is no list of things to go by. Of course, you can read books and learn about different things that other people do, but there is no strict do or don't. You're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. It's really what feels good to your spirit. Hence why it's called spirituality. It's up to you and it's up to your spirit. So don't let no one demonize you. Do not let anyone say you're doing doing it wrong do not let anyone try to hustle you out your money so you so they can teach you how to do it it's all about what is up to you but starting out i would just gather as much information as possible speak to anyone who is willing to share even if you disagree with their beliefs or you're not exactly sure as to what they do and would that suit you i just believe in listening to people in general because you never know what tidbits you can take from them because spirituality and at the end of the day is all the same but it's different for every individual which makes it the same a lot of people may sage their house the same but they say different things while they're saging but at the end of the day they're saging they're just saying what feels right for them what feels right for their household and what's in their spirit to say but starting out in the beginning i would just get as many books as possible read about different things learn about what exactly spirituality is and what's its purpose just so you know where you are going in this phase also when it comes to gathering information from people especially in the african spirituality i do want to just give a precaution to be careful and i feel like in any spirituality no matter what exactly that you're practicing you have to be careful of people who like to clothe themselves to appear like they know everything and trying to get you out of your money so you can at the end be something like them don't idolize people i mean look up to people a lot of you guys watch me because i'm very you know fun cute and quirky but never idolize someone to be like them because at the end of the day you won't be like them you're going to do what feels right for you so i'm going to speak as orderly as possible usually i have some notes with me but i'm just speaking from my heart right now so starting out in your beginning phase of spirituality i would get as much information as possible speak to anyone who is willing to share never feel too dependent on people like if they don't answer your question you're going to be lost you really have to listen to yourself so your first source of information needs to come from yourself. I will ask the universe to guide you through dreams, to guide you through messages throughout your day, meditate as much as possible. But for me, the best first step to do is to take a glass of water, sit it by your bed, write a petition down, or write just a little note, sticky note, post note, whatever you have, and just ask the universe, say, hey, I'm new out here in these streets. 
may you please provide me with guidance or any information that I need to know through my dreams. If you communicate well through your dreams, if you're not that type of person, or say you could do the same thing for meditation, please guide me and give me messages through meditation. Please guide me and give me messages on my way to work. Or please guide me and give me messages through people. If you need people to drop hints to you or for the universe to send people your way to remind you or to affirm what you're thinking, ask for that. So it really depends on your best way of communication. With me, I like dreams. When I ask the universe for guidance in a dream, the universe will be like, there you go. Like for example, for myself, when it comes to everyday things, I ask the universe for guidance through dreams. For myself, I was about to make a very big purchase, a huge ginormous purchase. And I asked the universe, if it's not meant for me to make this purchase, please give me a sign tonight. Listen, when I woke up and I called the people for that purchase, when I say rude, they were straight, nasty, nasty, rude. And I was like, universe, thank you. That's what I needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it'll be little things like that where you can ask the universe for guidance, direct guidance, say, hey, I need you to be specific because I don't know what's going on. So just ask for guidance and information from yourself and the universe. You are your best source of information because at the end of the day, your spirituality is just you and your spirit. So just repeating what I said before, I take a glass of water. It has to be a glass because you want your dreams to be clear. So that glass is going to symbolize the transparency of the dream that you want to have. Take a petition and being specific. One thing that you can write is, hello universe, I am Black Witch Yaya. I am new in my spiritual journey and I really want to know where do I fit in in this spiritual world. I would like to know my purpose. I would like to have the strength to follow through. I would like to have the focus and the determination to build my spirit up as much as possible. Please remove things that aren't good for my spirit and please tell me why in my dreams that they are being removed so I can avoid them in the future. I like to be very specific because I'm like, I don't want to leave no holes. So just be specific as in what you want the universe to tell you through your dreams, through meditation, through everyday, write a basically an open letter to the universe just to guide you and to give the information to you the best way and through the best channel that you receive information, whether it's through dreams, through meditation, through people. If you want to hear it in a song, maybe it's a verse you never heard before, but it relates to you. I ask for just clear messages through channels that I best will understand. Also, I feel like I want to give this warning as well. Not saying this is scary or anything, just giving you a heads up. When it comes to spirituality, no matter what type of category you practice, there are going to be people who try to make themselves seem like the know-all and be-all and the gate keeper of information and that you have to pay them thousands of dollars just to get that information. Be careful of people like that because of course when it comes to certain things you will have to pay for services but like I said before remember at the end of the day you are your best source of, source of information. So take in what you feel you need to take in and apply it to you as you feel such. Do not let people tell you you must do it this way, you must do it that way, you must do it this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Of course, if you decide to do one practice specifically, no matter what realm it's in, of course, there's going to be a foundation that you will grow from and learn information from. But their spirituality is not one size fits all. It's going to be different for different people. The way you communicate with your Orisha may be different from the way someone else. As long as the message is being delivered and you're getting what you need out of that ritual, or out of that spell work. Of course, there's guidances and different tips that you can follow and that you must follow. Don't let anyone feel like they have to micromanage you and you have to pay them for them to micromanage you for you to do it their way. Your spirit is going to tell you like, I don't know about this or I don't know about that person. Trust your gut. If you get an iffy feeling about someone, trust it because you can't trust everyone when it comes to spirituality because people just like in any religion or any other thing, people will try to take advantage of you, take advantage of your naiveness. Don't feel like you have to be someone's puppet and just do whatever they say. For example, when it comes to African spirituality, honey, there are going to be people decked out in bees telling you that you must follow me or you must come to my house to learn this information. If you have a good feeling about them and you trust them, honey, go ahead. Also, when it comes to getting information, please listen to this part. If you 
exit out this video for everything else. Listen to this part. When it comes to spirituality, you know you're going to be happy. You're going to be going to your botanicas. You're going to be showing off your crystals, your sage. You might lock up your hair. Like you're really going to be feeling it. You might show your spiritual items on your social media. There are babas and priests that literally prey on people who are just starting out in this phase of their spiritual journey just because they know they're a little naive they don't know much they might try to just fall for anyone that presents great vocabulary and great spiritual facts there are going to be babas and priests that will dm you saying that there's a spell on you they must get it off of you or come to me i will teach you i will guide you i'll be your leader or oh trust in me join my house get initiated through me if they're DMing you, honey, that's a scam. I just feel like that's so weird when people prey on people just to get a dollar. I mean, if you follow a spiritual person and you really trust them, you have communicated with them before, and if they DM like, hey, girl, I had a dream about you. Is this and this and this going on? If you already have a trust and a relationship with that person, trust them. But if it's just a stranger dressed in all white DMing you saying that there's a spell on you, do not fall for it because it's very sad when my boyfriend gets clients of people who have fell for people like that because they are new in their spiritual journey and they are hungry for information. They really trust people who seem like to be the know-all and be-all of spirituality, different priests. There are some that say, hey, I'm just giving an example. I, may, I know it may sound like a stretch, but this is happening a whole, whole lot. There are there are situations where they say, hey, it's a spell on you. I must get it off of you. And they're like, oh my gosh, are you serious? And they're like, yes, they communicate with them. But then it turns into send a naked picture of you to me so I can see where on your body this spell work or this demon is so I can tell you what to do with it. And people will fall for it just because they do trust that person. Like, oh my gosh, maybe it's in my arm or maybe it is in my private part. He, I, I need him to see it so he can help me. And they just take advantage of them. It's come Sometimes it goes so far into people falling for it to having sex with that priest or that baba because they feel like I have to suck the demon out of you or whatever type of words they use to make people fall for it. Be careful of people like that. Do not send inappropriate pictures of yourself or pictures of your body parts to people in your DM that swear there is a spell on you. Go to someone that you trust at a botanical to get a cleansing. And even when you get a cleaning from someone else, you are not naked. You will put on a white shirt or you will put on some type of clothing. Also, when it comes to the spiritual world, not everyone is going to be as nice as me. There are a lot of mean spiritual people where when you ask them for guidance, they kind of look at you like you're crazy or they bash other spiritual people. On I know on Facebook, there's a lot of spiritual group chats. I'm not on Facebook, but I've heard some horror stories of spiritual leaders down talking or bad talking other spiritualists. First, if your spiritual leader is down talking another person, how spiritual are you really? If you're down talking another human being instead of trying to help them and guide them. Or I know for myself, I was a victim of it. or Not even a victim, they tried. So if you feel that your spiritual leader is down talking other people, belittling other people and just being rude and just being a bully, how much can you really trust them? Because Lord forbid, if you turn your back on them, imagine how they're going to do you. So don't be afraid to go to people. You can go to people, just make sure that you trust them and you have a good feeling about them. Like for myself, a lot of people come to me for manifestation. I make manifestation jars for them. We have a one-on-one -on -one session. I'm like, okay, so what exactly do you want? What if I put this? What if I put that? Hey, I'm doing this. So I don't want you to come to me for a second time. You know how to do it now. Just come to me if you need a quick question. Or like for my boyfriend, when he does spell work, he has has everything separated and he's like hey I did this this that that and this so you can know for the future or again my boyfriend I keep referencing my boyfriend because I there are not too many people in my spiritual circle it's literally just me and him but I've seen him like break down spells to people break down rituals really taking his time with the readings to make sure that people get it just because we know that there's not too many other people that are going to do it for them so we like to try to make people feel safe and comfortable as possible so they won't be taken advantage of also when it comes to your spiritual journey don't feel like you have to go in so heavy and change your whole life 
like I said before, it's a spiritual journey. I've been on this spiritual journey this phase for about two years now, and I'm just now becoming vegan. So don't feel like you have to become vegan, become natural, lock up your hair, only wear sandals. Like don't feel like you have to fit what you see on TV or on your timeline. Do what's best for you at the time that it is best for you. Don't rush into it. Take your time so in the process that you can really get to know and learn who you are and what best fits you. So going along with information, books. I know a lot of people try to say, hey, don't read books, just listen to me. I feel like reading books is very, reading is fundamental in general. I love to read and I really found myself loving to read spiritual books about people's experiences and their perspective. Even if you don't follow what they say exactly, just learning from people and what they do will teach you as well. Just like I said before, you could get tips and tricks from everyone and really craft it to suit it to fit you best. A lot of you guys ask what books do I read? Honey, that is a whole nother video. So just giving you guys some tips when it comes to books. 80% of the time the books are from Amazon. You can literally go on there and type in spiritual books and just see what pops up. I got books about herbs, oils, the Orisha, ethos spirituality personal books that people have written about their spiritual journey i also read motivational books like the big leap so i kind of tie everything in together so i will do a separate video on just some of my books in my collection well i should bring in my boyfriend for that video because he has a lot of books but yeah so just finding books that really fit you go to a botanical go to a spiritual shop go on amazon just read about the book read the reviews see what best fits you and try to pick books that fit you in your moment of your journey at that time if you want to learn about herbs buy books about herbs if you want to learn learn about oils buy books about oils if you want to buy a book about meditation buy a book about meditation really just read watch videos watch me just take in as much information as possible also when it comes to your spiritual journey people are going to look at you like you're crazy because you're embarking on this new life you're going to do different things you may stop hanging around certain people because you're really going to grow in tune to people's energy and you're going to start to notice things that you never noticed before like oh i don't know why but when you come around my stomach starts to hurt or i get this migraine when you start speaking or i just get this eerie feeling when you start gossiping about people i don't want my energy that doesn't feel right with you. you're going to really start tapping into your energy and what feeds it positive energy so with that you're going to start removing negative energy you may stop drinking you may stop smoking you may stop hanging around certain people and with that and with that growth you're going to look different even if you actually look the same you're going to start looking different and acting different to people so people are going to look at you like you're crazy people who do not know about spirituality are going to be like oh my gosh you're doing voodoo just because that's what they were taught so that's all they know don't let that influence you too much because at the end of the day it's all about you so if people look at you crazy they think you worshiping the devil they think you just out here going mad if it feels good to you it feels good to you people only react off of what they know so don't let what your family may think what your friends may think influence you if you know it's for your best and your better growth go ahead and do it just giving you a summary of this video know that you are your best source of information okay trust yourself trust the messages that you are given second be careful of people who will take advantage of you just because they know that you are new in this phase of your spiritual journey listen to your gut if you get an iffy feeling about someone trust that iffy feeling go to people when you feel that you do not know what you are doing you can get recommendations from some people like i said before though trust your gut if you feel comfortable with someone to do spell work to do a tarot card reading to give you advice go to them but do not depend on someone for your entire spiritual journey because it's really up to you but if you're in a point where you're like hey i need a reading or hey i need spell work done i don't know what's going on go to someone that you trust like I said, I always go to my boyfriend for readings. I read myself. I do rituals for myself. So just, you know, go to someone that you feel comfortable with for guidance or for services. Always read or watch videos however you best soak in information. Learn as much as possible. Take in that information. Do not feel like you have to emulate that person, but take that information and make it best fit your lifestyle and what's best for you. And last, always trust yourself. You 
Know what you are doing. You have God in you. You are God. You are a piece of God. We all have pieces of God in us. We all have a direct connection to the universe because the universe is within us. So you hold all the power. Do not let the way people look at you determine your spirituality or determine how you practice. Of course, you may have to do it to yourself or while you alone for overall peace. But do not let what people say influence it. Like you worship the devil. You do voodoo. You're weird. You're a hippie. Do not let that steer you away from spirituality just to make them happy because you have to do what's best for you. You have to trust yourself. You know what you're doing. Do not feel like you don't know as much as the next person. Everyone is learning. You're going to find things that suit you. You're going to find things that help you grow. You know what you are doing. Just take in information and learn as much as possible and trust you, okay? But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you have any more questions, let me know down below. If I start to see more repeating questions, I'll do a part two of this video of different tips and tricks and advice for starting out on this phase in your spiritual journey. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Like I always say, as above, so below. As within, so without. As the universe, so the soul. Again, as the universe, so the soul. Until next time, you guys, I share.